um, for their software program that, that enables teams to connect. And it seems that, that teams is, is coming into the language as, as a more important concept of, of how we uh, collaborate um, digitally. Um, I, I would think, Tim, in many ways, um, if these uh, future leaning companies are creating these kind of units, that that would be a wonderful opportunity for new talent because it's a way that they can um, have a seat at the, at the team table, um, both to learn, but both to contribute. And um, are, are you, just to, to open this up a little bit, are, are you finding that some of, of your trainees are working in this manner or, or are aware of it or desire to work in this way? I mean, I I think um, that that's very true, and I agree with Bonnie's with Bonnie there on on those on that sort of sense of groups and smaller groups to be more agile and effective. I think you know for for younger marketing ch talent in the in the industry, the opportunities to the, absolutely want to work in those sort of very high performing teams that don't have a huge amount of bureaucracy and a huge amount of levels, where ultimately they can contribute. And, and as you say, sort of that, that seems to be the most effective route. I think what is interesting is the skills required for those to work in those kind of teams are quite specialist. So we're seeing sort of specialist skills, especially in, in SEO, SEM, and optimization type of marketing to, to sort of make up those teams. Um, and they might be rounded out by analytics and, and other other elements to kind of to form those teams. Um, so I, I do absolutely think for, for the younger marketing talent of today, those kind of teams are, are exactly where they want to work. Do they always get to do that? I think that's a mix, right? Sometimes yes, sometimes not so much. And they may be in a big organization where their projects are a little more um, ring-fenced, to say, and they don't necessarily get that, that flexibility that they might want. But I do think that's also another learning, another learning opportunity too. The trouble is that it can be too narrow. Yes, the, the, the teams are, are a great way to kind of have those different skill sets in one place. I think from, if we think about development of those people, sometimes those skill sets might be, might be a little narrow and the opportunity really for leadership skills and for leading growing is about perhaps having more than one as it were, and ultimately being able to look further over the organization and solve problems that are wider than just in your silo, let's call it. Well, let, let's, let, me, let me think about that for a second, because one of the things that we, we were talking about as, as part of a new view of, of the marketplace is a little bit of the gig economy. And, and I'm not sure if... Um, I'm up to speed on on if the gig economy is 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 thriving right now or or um, maybe a little less so. COVID has changed so many things, but would you envision um, Barney say on on these these effective uh, smaller teams or pods that you've talked about? Are they all necessarily employees? Um, of of um, a cert, whether it's an agency or whether it's even an in-house unit with within a marketing department, uh, can some of them be just outside experts who who um, want to work on certain projects and and make their living that way? Deb, I think the ultimate vision is um, that you bring the best available talent in the marketplace to the project. And the ultimate vision would be to say that you've got transparency in terms of your capabilities as individuals and the ingredients or the DNA you need to, to address a specific client issue. So in an agency context, essentially what you're forming is a marketplace uh, where you have got projects that can be, you know, with a defined 
set of, of needs and capabilities that are needed to address that problem. Uh, and on the other side, you've got a pool of talent um, of differing levels, of different levels of experience with different niche sp skills, uh, to Tim's point. And that marketplace can help bring the right team to the table in, in a given situation. I think larger agencies would have the aspiration that they can provide their own pool of 100,000 employees or 20,000 or 5,000 or smaller, right? But they would like to think that they could manage their own um, marketplace. But I, I think increasingly you're beginning to see a number of agency models who pride themselves on their extended network of freelancers. Um, and their USP is essentially their, operate, their digital operating system, which is uh, a, a place where people can plug in and collaborate on. Um, that operating system has got a set of training um, so that the freelancers coming into the space can be qualified and measured against certain standards. Um, and as they do that, they, they become attuned to the specific processes that that agency is using. And I think that's, that's very exciting. It's a really, really interesting model. And as a marketer or a CMO, I think that's pretty exciting because I can put out, as it were, to tender in a marketplace, a need for a few senior uh, thinkers to, to help me with, with certain problems. And then I can also pull in a team who can help deliver against the expectation and whatever specialisms those, those need, need to be. 